Mornings for me look a little different every day. It really depends on how quick I need to get started. But to be honest, I'll tell you what makes me feel the best is starting a quiet morning, not talking. I get my responsibilities done with the animals. And then I love to come in each bedroom. My bedroom, the boys' bedroom, around the house, and I make beds up, and I tidy up, and I put blankets, and I fold them, and I I just pick up, and it just allows my brain to just feel a little bit less overwhelmed, <laughs> and like, I got this, you know? So once that's done, I feel like I can really get my day started. Um, I've already kind of made my coffee. I'm sipping my coffee. I'm potentially even listening to a podcast. So we went on vacation, and when we got back, this is the result of getting everything unloaded in my room that needed to be put away. And I looked at this, and I walked past this room probably for four to five days before it ever got touched. And so my goal today is to get it done, but just like any other day, things happen. And so let's just kind of dive right in and get this done together. Well, you clicked on today's video. Thank you for doing that. If you've not hit subscribe yet, go ahead and do that. What's up, Blush Beauty? I'm excited you're here. We're doing our nails, doing some face products, and we're organizing. Let's get into it. Anything done in my room, like I was saying this morning. Work and life and all the things have been happening, so it's okay. But I am going to start taking my nails off now. So I did the gel nails, you guys, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna insert a clip right here, and I meant to do that last vlog, but I. Uh, I didn't. I totally just skipped it and by accident wasn't intentional. But I have a code for you guys and I want to tell you about this company and I've been super impressed with how long they've stayed on. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons behind it. All the things that I'm thinking about it already because you know I've been doing powder dip and now having the gel option has got me so excited. But I'm going to use this polish that I picked up from Ulta and I'm going to see if this will actually remove the gel, there we go. I have like a new feature on my phone that I'm using. So it's kind of blurred, it blurred Koozie out. But we're going to um, his combat like jujitsu class tonight and we're really excited. Aren't we Cruz? yay, we're so excited. He's so excited, he just wanna give me a high five. Are you serious? And yeah, you have to watch the docuseries of, it's on Netflix of Connor McGregor, I think is how you say his last name. I have literally been talking about it for days. It's very good. It's very good. I love a story behind a sport and an athlete and all that. Anyways, Cruz wants oh. to do UFC fighting when he's older. What do you mean? You love a story behind an athlete? Yeah, like, I don't love sports. Like, I'm not like, oh, the sport. Let me watch the sport. But the story behind the person in playing the sport, like, I am so excited about that. Um, so it's such a good series. It really is. We're not even, we're on episode two, <laughs> so I'm not even all the way through it, but it's good. When I, when Al and I watch shows together, it takes us a long time to actually like finish because I can binge watch. Is that an accident? Yeah. That's what I did. Uh, oh gosh. Did it just happen? No, I think that happened before. Because those tire marks, they were stopping to put flowers. Um, that was crazy. I think somebody had wrecked right there and they had like flowers on the side of the road and people stopped to put stuff there. Yeah, I think it like happened this week. Um, that's sad. <sighs> so now, I don't know what I was saying. Oh, but when we watch shows together, it takes us a while to finish them because we watch them in the evening together or if there's a day on the weekend that we have a few hours to watch some shows together. Otherwise, it's at night. But typically, if I'm watching a show, I can like start watch during the day while I'm doing house stuff or straightening up or in the middle of work in between things. Like I can listen to it, do emails or edit. Can't do that when we're watching them together. So it's going to probably take us a minute to watch it. With all that being said, that's a mouthful. I'm going to take and remove my nails which they have held up so well. We've been on vacation, so I've been in the ocean water, not like strictly swimming in the ocean, but I've been in ocean water, sand, chlorine, pool, all the things. But this is what's funny about this hand is that I've been picking them off. So the thumb and these, I've literally been picking off um, because I'm just like, oh, I'm ready 
afraid to take them off and I just start picking at them. But I am so, I'm very happy with it because I have not chipped a nail. None of my nails have broken or chipped. And I've been trying to grow them out a little bit longer, even though I love this length. And it was a fast, fast, like, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, application. It was a fast application of the, of the nails. I did my pedicure in less than 45 minutes on vacation. I was so excited to do the gel so fast. Been very happy with it. So I think you're going to love it too. Um, anyways, let's start removing them so we can get fresh nails when we do our nails tomorrow. Oh, and this is from CVS. This is not from Ulta. So. But it says gel polish and lacquer remover. So let's see how well this actually works. So this was a few weeks ago, this clip that you're seeing right here, this was pre of going on vacation. Um, we love to take the camper out and it, we have so much fun. But anyways, I always want to have my nails done, my toes done, all the things, right? So I want to just tell you a little bit of things about Nail Reserve. One of the things that I was so impressed by was the quality of the product. The packaging was so dang secure. I was like, I can't even get into this. So you're definitely going to get your stuff and it's going to be super safe. But I am happy to tell you, you get 50% off coupon use Amber Likens at checkout. So make sure you're clicking the link in the top of the description that way they can kind of track like you know how many people basically use that link from my videos so I, I love them knowing that as well um, but I know you're gonna enjoy 50% off so make sure you are using my name so you can get that but if you do I want you to also know that they have VIP subscription so you can find that also in a link I'm gonna put in the description so go check that out so they have like some extra perks for you but I was so impressed by the quality of the product, how well it lasted, how easy it was to put on, and I'm gonna share some pros and cons with you. Well, these turned out so good. I really like them. The process was easy, and I think this was a success. The only thing was my hiccup is that this actually has to be plugged up. I need something that doesn't have to be plugged up. That would be ideal, I'm just not sure if that's a thing. But I was like, could I charge it and then it work to be mobile, to go to any place in my home to do my nails? So I'm like having to do it on the side of my bed. Um, but yeah, this turned out good. I will wash my hands, file them. Let me touch them and just see, did it cure? I'm scared to touch them. Oh my gosh, it did cure. Wow, they are just that shiny. <gasps> That's cool because they still like look wet that's cool okay well i'm gonna go ahead and do my other hand and then we'll keep these on for several weeks and be excited about them i'll show my new colors in a second
I'm not sure what color I want to do, but I'm leaning towards this almond shade I think is really pretty. Haven't done anything like this, so I think that would be really nice. But I do have to remove the gel on my nails, and I did buy, I think I told y'all it was um, Ulta, but I actually picked it up at CVS. But this one right here is from Ulta, and this works like amazing. It just removes really well. So I'm gonna soak my nails right here, which I love this case. So I am gonna soak my nails, and um, we're gonna get some new nails fixed. So here they are now, looking a little weak and sketch. <laughs> and we're gonna go get some new nails. be okay so I have this almond color which is so pretty that's what I'm gonna do today which I just shared with you and then I have this color that's called sea swing and sun which is such a pretty pretty nude I love that too so these were hard to pick which one I was gonna do today and then um Monchery, I think is how you pronounce that not really 100% but I think that's how you pronounce that um, and then I have this electric pink, which I did my pedicure with literally in like 45 minutes, which I shared with you. It's so amazing. And then this is what I have on right now. It's called Secret Lover. So I love that. I think, oh, that is just such a gorgeous, I mean, look at that pink. That is that blush pink that I'm obsessed with. And then I got this white. I love this. And it's called White Attic. White Attic. I think is how you want to say it. But anyways, this is really gorgeous. A white, I know it's like white, right? It's like how's white gorgeous, but white is gorgeous. I love a white on the toenails and I love a black on the toenails. I think that's really beautiful. And then I love this pink on my toes as well. Like those are the three that I'm going to alternate on my feet. And then I did get the black, which is again, black addict. Yeah, love that too. Um, yeah, so that's what I chose. And I think they're gorgeous. So I'm excited about that. So I'm going to take this off. And yeah, what do you think? Comment below if you love these colors. But it says, um, yeah, soak off the gel polish. Okay, da, 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 all the things. It has all the instructions. But what do you think about this? I just think that's such a gorgeous color. It's just a really beautiful nude. I'm just really big on will it go with everything. I just want everything to like, no matter what I'm wearing, will it work? So that's what I'm big on. Um, and then you have obviously like the base and the top and all that. So it's so cool. And it is the easiest application. So I have a 50% off code for you. So go to the description, click the link, um, but you can use Amber Likens at checkoff for 50% which I'm like, that is huge. That's everything. So I'm so, so excited for you to use that and also start doing your gel nails yourself. And I promise you like the formula of this, I was that impressed. Like I was like, this is very, very good quality. And it's the staying power was so amazing. So I love it. Um, I'm excited for you to get your colors. Let me know in the comments what you color you picked or tag me on my Instagram handle. And just right here, Amber Likens across all the boards, um, you will find my IG. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, so this morning's been kind of chill. I haven't even washed my face yet or even brushed my teeth. I know that's super gross, but I haven't. And I'm drinking my coffee. I really want some pretty disposable cups. I'm not loving these cups anymore. They're just killing my vibe. I just can't get down with it. <laughs> but we have a lot of them. And we shop at Sam's Club. Which is like this big like Costco. Or like a BJ's. Like a big like buy in bulk. And so that is all they have. So I am telling you Sam's. Come out with really pretty cups that are maybe solid or have a really like other design on them this is just 
blue green tan i just can't get down with it anyways but that's what i do these disposable cups are so amazing i just toss them out um and yeah but i want some prettier cups i might have to look on amazon for some just like just i feel like we just go through them so fast i'd be annoyed you know what i mean i'd be like these good cups they're so cute maybe i could just drink out of them or my sister and then the kids can just use these <laughs> Anyways, all right, I'm gonna get my nails done and then we gotta get this room in order because it is a disaster. It is disgusting. It's a disaster. I can't even think about it. Alan says all the time, he's like, you are like living with a um, college, like whatever. I don't know. He's like, you just look at this as a college dorm. That's what he says all the time. And I'm like, so aggy, so freaking aggy, but everything in here is clean. That's the thing. I just got back from vacation, right? And so everybody else's stuff got put away. Kitchen stuff got put away. We did laundry before we came home. But I never put my stuff away. It is just a task. It takes a couple hours for me to get in here and put things back away. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna, I have to do it today. I have to do it today. I don't even know where anything is. I'm like, can't even see my floor. It's really bad. <laughs> So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna finish our nails. I'm excited for it. Please have a conversation about what you see right here. This is my cat, Macy. She's four years old and she's bossy as crap, but look at her. This is why I have to clean my room because she's in a bed of flowers in a basket, <laughs> living her best outdoor life in this basket. Yeah, she's a nut. Macy. Hi, Macy. <gasps> Nay Nay. Hi, I know you hear mommy. May May. May May. She's really good at ignoring me, so that's exciting. To do everything with one hand because this one is still soaking. So <laughs> I'm like doing everything with my one hand in my mouth, <laughs> opening up this camera. But that is hilarious to me. I, that's the thing. I don't even know. Are there any other animals chilling in here? I'm not sure. Well, again, I have to just tell you, I only tell you about things that I think are actually really good. So when you see a collaboration, partnership, anything like that on my channel that I'm speaking about, I've really taken the time to test the product and read about it and honestly just give you my honest opinion. So go check it out. Top link is in the description. Enjoy that 50% off. But this is kind of what happened after I soaked them. One of the things about the gels that I did figure out is like I, I just kind of forgot. <laughs> but you do want to like take a file to them, soak them, take a file to them and get them off that way. But oh my gosh, like these cured so well. Any of the edges, you can just clean them up. They did give me a little nail file, but you can use any file. Um, and then just kind of clean them up on the sides after the fact when they're set and they look really good. Well, now I'm multitasking, so I have a couple meetings that I'm taking care of before we can actually conquer this bedroom. If I need you or whatever, but before, a lot of times before I even decide on uh, which one I'm going to copy from the title, and they're looking at the thumbnail, reading that. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to This room is a disaster. I don't even know where to start. These are hang up clothes. So I need to get those hung up and I just have some like random stuff here. Some kid clothes from vacation. Maybe some of these are mine too. I think some of these are mine. Yeah, I just need to go through them. The drone, I am obsessed with this thing. It's the coolest, coolest thing ever. 
Um, some tool trees. I've been digging out of this basically like a child living out of bags that I don't want to unpack. It, comment below if this is also you. Do you do this? These are shorts, leggings, bras, sports bras, and some underwear all mixed together. These are all my bathing suits and my cover-ups, which I really want to show these to you. So, I think when I, like, fold them to put them back in my thing, I'm going to show them to you because I'm obsessed with, like, the way I do my bathing suits. I do love that. Those are clean from camping, and those are actually all the kids. So, I need to put those together in some, like, washcloth. So, I just have got to get this together, and I just have random stuff sitting on all the shelves. So, here is a before scroll through. I am going to have to start a little bit of laundry. I have some I need to start and just some other things going on. <sighs> so we're going to get this together and yeah, basically be able to see my floor again. So let's do this. love these sheer cover-ups. These are so cute to wear with a little dress or even a bathing suit, but I do love these. I think they're just a nice way to just be a little bit more modest. And I have this on today, so I have like this jumpsuit on today, which I'm obsessed with, and I love it, and it's short. But sometimes like booty cheeks can hang out, arms are out, chest could be out. So I'm just very aware and I am always like prepared like if somebody's coming over or family's here or we're with like friends or whatever. I always rather kind of have something on like this. It just allows me to feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't know where I've always gotten these from. They're very random. But I will try to find a link on Amazon because I swear I could probably find these for you because they're that good. So anyways, like one size fits all. They're really cool. have this bathing suit which I bought from Amazon and I do love it um, it just kind of has like the middle back and stomach kind of um, out a little bit and this is just so cute and it fits really well I just feel I didn't wear this on vacation um, I just feel like maybe this is more like wear around just family <laughs> because it's just you know you never know what's gonna pop out so just very always nervous about that I'm very nervous about like um, boob poppage um, because my things are not as tight as they used to be um, and I also did not wear this on vacation but I'm obsessed with it as well and I love this top right here I don't even understand why I never wore it I think I forgot I packed it until like the last day and then I just wasn't in the mood to wear it but I have this and then I do um, like some just black high-waisted bottoms which I've had these for years and years and years they came from Target just some cute high-waisted, very forgiving, and these go together really nice. So, I love that bathing suit. And so, what I do with my swimsuits, this is one of my favorites as well, and this was also from Target. I tend to find my bathing suits in person a lot, but this is also a lot of poppage. <laughs> but I did wear this. It's one of my favorite bathing suits. I love the green on it. I'm obsessed with this green. Um, I will have to say, like, this cut under the boob, it always rises up in my boob. It's, like, down here. It's a problem. But if you know, you know, right? Comment below if you also have an issue with that. These puppies just want to fly everywhere. But I do like this. But I love a good tie. So... I wear, and if it's not in here, then it's in my laundry, but 
Yeah, it's not in this pile. But it is like, it's similar to this, but it's solid white and solid black. And it's like this thin material. And it has like little balls hanging off the side. But I always have something to tie around my waist. So this I tie around my waist. And then I have a solid white and black. I always do that like more um, high-waisted on like my mid area. And then it just kind of just conceals because I'm very weird about when I sit down, when I stand up quick, is my butt cheek hanging out? Is the bottom side getting a little bit over to the left or to the right? Like, if you're a woman, you know what I'm saying. Like, this is not, uh, it's just, it's, every woman deals with this. Um, so anyways, I am just very much like kind of modest like that. And so... I've always actually kind of been like that, except when I was like a teenager and I never had to worry about anything. I've had children, so not everything is like high and tight like it used to be. So I do love those. I will tell you one of my things I don't like is wearing a full cover up like from shoulders down because when you take it off, it's very awkward like pulling it up or pulling it down. I just want something to untie on the waist and call it a day. Um, and so that's why I love a little tie like that. Um, and then this is a cover up, but I don't really wear it. I have it. So if I'm going to be wearing it like all day with my bathing suit, but I don't want to be like taking this off and then get in the water. I don't know. I'm very weird, you guys. Let me know in the comments if you also feel the same way because I will wear my tie waisted one around my waist as I sit on the edge of the pool and get in the water. Um, but I can untie it and not make a big deal about like pulling something up or like take shimmying out of something. Do you know what I mean? It's just very like nonchalant. Like, oh, take it off, put it back on. It's very easy. Um, so yeah. So anyways, those are my favorite little cover ups and my little secrets for you to know. So now you know my secrets. All right, but let's put these bathing suits up. I do store them right now under my bed, um, until I can go back to Ikea and get the scoops that fit inside of these upper ones, because I think I'm going to put them up in here um, because I really would like my bathing suits to be in my closet um, but yeah for now I am storing them as I am just to help with space so one of my favorite cover-ups ever I love this I found it at Belk years ago and it is it has a tie it's so stinking cute so I did wear that on vacation I do wear that most vacations when I know I'm gonna have it on for several hours I'm okay with that and then some of these other random ones are just like they're just very random there's no rhyme or reason they're just simple just cute little cover-ups So one of my favorites is the cut. If I had more like this, I could probably look up the brand um, from this and go to their website and actually order more like this in different colors. And similar to that green one, I would do that because I literally love the cut of these bathing suits on my body type. Um, I think it's very flattering. This is literally the cutest thing ever. First of all, it's not cute that Timber loves to lick his pillow. I'm, I'm Timber, Timber, stop it. I'm immediately grossed out. But the kitten loves to lay in bed with him. Look, they're just adorable. And then Rainy, no, this is Macy. Macy's hiding. She's like, please don't tell anybody I'm here. <laughs> all right, anyways, I'm changing the battery so I can continue recording with you. This is Real Life Struggles.
<laughs> this is looking better. It's not quite done, but we can see the floor. Everything's hung up. I need to find a place for this litter box. And I really want a lid on it. Like my other one, I just don't think they sell them separately. So I'm going to try to figure that out. But try to find a spot to keep it in this room. I think is ideal. But I just want to hide it in food and water back here. Also, I just don't want like, look at all these baskets. <laughs> I just have like, what is happening? Those are going to be stored somewhere else to utilize. Put those clothes up. Put those up. Vacuum wipe down and we'll be good. The house gets cleaned every Monday and they just cleaned yesterday, but I told them not to clean my beauty room because it was a mess. <laughs> I was like, I, it's just going to take me a minute. So I, it's cleaned. Um, but I just need to like vacuum and stuff and just wipe everything down. So I'm going to do that and we're going to finish it tomorrow. We are going to the racetrack right now. So I'm going to head out to the racetrack, come and clean in here tomorrow to finish it up, show you the after and do a little something with our face. We definitely need like spa time, face revamping, all the things. I'm going to do some face masks, some just all the good things that our skin needs for this summer. So we will be back in the room. Oh, and look at this. So I put this little grass ball up there. I think that's so cute. So I thought that turned out really nice. Added more flowers here. So I definitely like added some more jish there. Um, I don't know what to do with this tissue box. I really want to change this out. I don't like this. So I'm like, do I have something in my house that I can sit this in, but like pull tissues out of? So I'm going to figure that out too. So I need to figure out tissue box, something that I already have at home and litter box. And you know, you can pull these tissues out of the box and place them in something. I just need to figure out what to put that in. So I'm on a mission to figure that out. Um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, we'll be back. So it's 8.20 in the morning. I've not turned my lights on <clears throat> in my beauty room yet. I've probably said 20 words this morning, so my voice is still getting, you know, up and running. Um, but we are going to paper our skin today. Being out and exposed to the sun in a very high level for a vacation, um, so if you take vacation, take a holiday, anything like that, and you are out in the sun, or maybe you're shaded and have a hat on, it doesn't matter. You are still exposed. It is really important for you to treat your skin throughout that process. Protect it with um, a really amazing SPF. I'm on a new SPF treatment, um, and I'm super obsessed with it, so I'm talking to my collective women about it. We actually have a meetup. Um, next week so we meet up virtually online and we just have a really amazing conversation with one another and trial and error with products and just diving into things that women want to discuss and so that's super fun so check that out in the description if you're interested in um being a part of some of that so but this charcoal mask i'm really really obsessed with i hope you can see it well enough um because i'm just i'm I don't want to turn on my lights yet. Um, it's too bright. But active charcoal, this really pulls out oil and impurities in your skin. Um, things out of the pores, right? So, like, if you struggle with blackheads and whiteheads and um, having just any type of, like, rash or breakouts on your skin, charcoal is really amazing for that. Just imagine, like, a magnet sucking it out. That's what charcoal does. 
And so a charcoal mask is one of my obsessions and it has been for several years. Pre-charcoal mask, I would make sure how I could suck everything out would be like extracting it with an exfoliator and then doing a toner and doing things like that to allow like clean the pores, right? I don't want you to skip the process of cleaning your pores and just like washing and just like randomly do a face scrub or randomly do a hydrating mask and then continue on. You, if you got into a magnified mirror, if a dermatologist got into your face, you would see so much in your pores and it's really important to keep your skin smooth, healthy, clear, balanced um, with extracting the skin, so um, the pores. So I love a charcoal mask and I typically like to do this once a week, so I start with that. Then after I wash it off, I do a product, always check the back of the labels. Like the labeling of product is so important. Like make sure you're checking this out. If it doesn't say it, if it doesn't say it on the back, I'm gonna get me back in focus. My camera's like, I don't know where you are. If it doesn't say it on the back of the product, Google it, search it, you know, find out more about the product that you're using. Um, and find out what is in it. So glycolic acid is a really gentle way to exfoliate the skin in not such abrasive way. So allowing that to sit on your skin and it just dissolves the dead skin. So, and this does way more than that, but this is really why I use um, this facial peel. So I do love that. Then I want to hydrate my skin. I want to bounce it back. So then I add a hydration mask on top of it and it's a lifting mask though. It's like gonna add hydration, nutrients, lift, all the things into my skin. And then I'm gonna do some eye patches and I have a couple brands of eye patches that I do use. And so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today and there's a process to it. So I wanna clean the pores, I wanna extract and get all those cleaned out. I want to exfoliate the skin. Um, like which is an even exfoliation and then I want to do the um, eye patches and also like hydrate and lift the skin but I will tell you I have been doing my body scrub that I have on my website and that I make myself it is an amazing organic has some high potent like products in there for helping with skin elasticity and you know age and it is amazing and I'm obsessed with how it makes my body feel but I've recently been doing it on my face and I do it every time I'm in the shower. Every time I'm in the shower because it just allows your skin to breathe. It's so good and it's so affordable. Um, go check that out. I'm excited for you to have that in your home too because it's just that good. Um, so yeah, head over to amberlikens.com. Anything that you're ever wondering what I offer, what I do, Amber Likens will get you there um, for the most part on Google <laughs> and then you can find everything from there but go to my website first um, but that's it I'm gonna go let this sit I'm gonna go do some more face stuff and do some house things and I'll be back and then we gotta vacuum and get the room finished and complete laundry and <laughs> put that up
Looks like my skin is falling off my face. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, finish my room, and call it a day. It does gonna, it is gonna slide. It does slide is what I'm trying to say. But it's fine, I'm gonna keep pushing it up and keep it moving. And the room is done. This is so much better. I ended up moving my ring light over here. Obviously some greenery to make it just pop. And these are really beautiful, but the cool thing about them is you can kind of just fluff them up. They're just wire. And then my makeup case, vanity's cleaned and organized. Everything is together. I'm so obsessed. <laughs> with how I added more flowers in here and I love the fact that my tissues are right there. I love that and not having that tissue box. So I do think that is so cool. And this couch gets used all the time by us in the cat. So it's just constantly keeping that with like no cat hair, but I'm just gonna leave that like it is because Rainy keeps popping up there to sleep. And then typically I like lay a blanket over here. So then the cats, if they are laying there, it's covered. But I do like this. So, like, when you come in, I may end up getting another tree to go right here just to block. But having that basket there, because it's just kind of like a hodgepodge. You know what I mean? But it's just pretty to have. I may throw a blanket in there. But I would love to get another one of these and put here. And then that can kind of bounce back. But having this extra litter box, now that we have a new kitten in the house... Um, that kitten knows where to go, like in the front of the house or now in the back. But this rug was from my dear friend, Tammy, one of my sisters. She's amazing. And she sent that to me. And so I just thought that was really pretty because I started thinking, like, I haven't been able to use that rug yet. I'm like, where am I going to put it? It's so cute. And it says, you look good. I love it. Even though now you can't read it, <laughs> but it's so cute. Um, but I just thought that was really nice to kind of like hone in on that there, just to have that placement and I do like having something in the back of the house for the cats but um that's who also got me this beautiful fan so this handheld fan I love this so thank you Tammy for that you're a dear friend I love it um and I'm not sure what to do with this basket yet so it's just kind of like hanging out it's empty I'm probably going to end up putting some of my you know soaps and different things probably in here it's just like things I just kind of close up but I do love this basket it's like super antique um passed down from families I love that and then like everything's in place to-do list smile laugh relax eat sleep pray repeat <laughs> I love this for my sister when I was out of town so everything is in place and I am so obsessed so yay my room is back together See this mask? It's crazy, right? It's like in my mouth. But it's amazing how when you go out of town and then you come back and you're just putting things back together, how long it takes for me to do that. Um, sometimes it's faster than others, but 
it really does take me a long time and so my room is one of those places that I just I spend a lot of my time so if I don't act on it quick then it takes me a few days so but it's back together and we're loving it so glad I could bring you in on it we're gonna take this off put some serums and moisturizer on today and some SPF and we'll be on our way I put some oil on my skin and now this new face moisturizer SPF that I'm using that I'm going to be telling the collective girls more detail about it as I've been using it and experimenting with it. I think that's the thing that I take so seriously with skincare is that I'm not quick. I'm quick to say, Ooh, I like how that feels. I like how that smells. I like whatever about it. But when it comes to using it, it takes a minute for your skin to like acclimate and feel good about the product. It doesn't work for you. Does it not? How's your skin reacting or whatever? But I'm really keen on honing in on the ingredients and I'm like, these are the ingredients. Okay, great. That's what my skin needs. That's, you know, the stage that my skin's in and I've got to have these. I mean, it's a non-negotiable. And so those conversations. Um, so I look forward to seeing you in the next meetup of the collective. So more details on that, go to amberlikens.com, but I do have a gift for you right now, and it's a makeup bag checklist. It is all the things that you need for your makeup bag checklist. It's the ultimate checklist. It's amazing. With these staples, I assure you, you will feel so confident and comfortable going, oh, I have that. I can create that look. So if you see any tutorial online, mine or someone else's, or you see a makeup look that you just want to recreate, with these tools in your makeup bag checklist, you will feel so confident knowing like you can execute that look. So go over to amberlikens.com. There's also a link in the description of all things that I brought up or discussed um, or plugged in this video. So go check that out. And because you watch this video, you comment, you like, and you subscribe to my channel, it definitely pushes the algorithm to say, hey, this is good content, and it'll push it to more people on YouTube. So. Thank you for being here. I adore you. Thanks for accepting me in my robe. I'm obsessed with this. I'm kind of just like embracing. I'm going to do more tutorials in robes. Have some new ones coming out and potentially a new collab that I'm excited to partner with. So that'll be really dope and cool. But go today to the nail line and get your nails and get some of these products for 50% off. Can we get a zoom in? Can we get a focus? Like how... Look at that product. But how amazing these gel nails look. I am so happy with the results of these. And I cannot believe you're going to be able to get 50% off when you purchase. So use Amber Likens at checkout. Check out the link in the description. And I am excited for you there. All right. Well, enough said. Have an amazing day. I love you. And you're awesome. Thanks, Blush Beauty. See you collective on the inside. Bye. Mm -hmm.